Hello, test. Hello, hey, hey. Oh, the mic is working. Nice. Hey, welcome to my first CCSP practice question video. Just like my CISSP and CC exam practice question videos, I'll try to upload these as much as possible. But unlike my other course videos, this CCSP course is not done yet. As of today's date, October 5th, 2023. I'm working mighty hard on it to make sure it's a full course and has everything you need from videos to practice questions to a telegram group, all of which will work toward making you a CCSP. Subscribe to my CCSP and CISSP newsletter link in the description to receive all updates and the course, free practice questions, resources I'm using as I try to complete this cloud computing course by the end of 2023, uh, maybe at the beginning of 2024, but no later than that, I promise. Uh, all right, let's get on with the first question. Creating multiple virtual machines throughout a cloud environment can create which configuration risk? Is it choice A, account hijacking? Is it choice B, resource exhaustion? Is it choice C, a VM sprawl? Or is it choice D, vendor viability? Let's break down these choices. There are four types of risks to consider in the cloud. Organizational risks, compliance and legal risks, cloud infrastructure risks, and virtualization risks. And I apologize if the word risks has that S at the end. It just sounds like a like a like an extra S when I say the word risks. Risks. Look at that, that S at the end. It sounds weird. That sounds funny. Let's focus on virtualization risks. <laughs> Within virtualization risk, there are three other subcategories known as architectural risk, hypervisor software risk, and configuration risks. Architectural risk are the following, resource exhaustion, insecure multi-tenancy, especially between hosts on the same hypervisor but with different trust levels, and the inability to monitor all virtualized traffic given the underlying hardware system. Because why? Because the cloud service provider is never, ever going to let you, the cloud tenant, look at their underlying hardware system. You only get access to the virtual, virtualized environment. The hypervisor risks include the security of the hypervisor itself. It may have exploitable vulnerabilities if it is not managed properly with updates and just some general housekeeping. Unauthorized access to the hypervisor, so use access control and identity management for that. Or a management plane compromise that would render control over the hypervisor itself. Configuration risks include things like the security of offline VMs that were once used but not anymore. They are turned off or they lay dormant in some section of your cloud network that everyone forgot about. Another configuration risk is the virtual machine itself, which is really just a lot of different file types put together. A virtual machine itself is just one big software package. And of course, VM sprawl is another configuration risk and the correct answer to this CCSP practice question. Yes, virtualization and cloud computing makes adding assets to your organization as simple as clicking a button and, and encouraging all the cloud computing characteristics as rapid elasticity and, and scalability and, and multi-tenancy. But be careful who has the power to create VMs. Try not to click that button too many times without a plan in place ahead of time and that you have the right approval through a proper change management process and good access control. In short, future CCSPs, account hijacking is a hypervisor risk, resource exhaustion is an architectural risk, VM sprawl is the only choice that is a configuration risk. Vendor viability is the ability to gauge whether a cloud vendor will still be in business while your business is using its services. This is a risk, but it is not a configuration risk, more of an organizational risk. Okay guys, simple and short. See you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe not to my YouTube channel, I don't really care about that, but the CISSP and the CCSP newsletter in the description below. Good luck on your exam if you're facing the CISSP or CC exam anytime soon. The links to my courses for those exams are below. I hope you finish off the week strong. See you in the next video.